waiting to order and call on Councilor Jennings, please. Please. Uh, please. 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 To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call the roll. Councillor Brown. Here. Councillor Jennings. Here. Councillor Broughton. Here. Councillor Watson. Here. Councillor Barton. Here. Mayor Loveless. Here. We have a quorum to do business. Approval of the April 12th uh, regular meeting minutes. Motion to approve regular April 12th meeting. Second. I have a motion by Councillor Barton, a second by Councillor Watson to approve the April 12th, 2021 regular meeting minutes. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councillor Brown? Yes. Councillor Jennings? Yes. Councillor Broughton? Yes. Councillor Watson? Yes. Councillor Barton? Yes. The approval of the April 12th, 2021 regular meeting minutes is passed. On the agenda, item number D is going to be deleted. There uh, has been some uh, discussion brought up by uh, a counselor as to the method of purchase. No, and not B, Mayor. I'm sorry. D? D. D. Okay. D. I thought he said B. Mm -hmm. D. Oh, did he? He said D. D. <laughs> He is a dog. <laughs> the city attorney is not here today to, to uh, help us with that, so it's, we'll just bring it up at another time. The first item under new business is a proclamation. We'll just read the proclamation. Uh, in recognition of Mental Health Month in the city of Bruton, 2021 Tools to Thrive. Whereas mental health is essential to everyone's overall health and well-being, and whereas all Americans face challenges in life and impact their mental health, especially during a pandemic, and whereas prevention is an effective way to reduce the burden of mental health conditions, and whereas there are practical tools that all people can use to improve their mental health and increase resiliency, and whereas mental health conditions are real and prevalent in our nation, and whereas with effective treatment, those individuals with mental health conditions can recover and lead full, productive lives, and whereas each business, school, government agency, health care provider, organization, and citizen sh share the burden of mental health problems and has a responsibility to promote mental health wellness and support prevention and treatment efforts. Now, therefore, the mayor and council of the city of Bruton do hereby proclaim May 2021 as Mental Health Month. As mayor of the city of Bruton, I also call upon the citizens, government agencies, public and private institutions, businesses, and schools in the city of Bruton to commit our com community to increasing awareness and understanding of mental health, the steps our citizens can take to protect their mental health and the need for appropriate and accessible services for all people with mental health conditions. Proclaim this 26th day of April 2021. Next item is to approve an ordinance to rezone a parcel from RA residential to ag from RA residential and agricultural to B3 general business ordinance number 21-0412-1 oh, motion to approve ordinance 21-0412-1 second i have a motion by councillor brown a second by councillor watson to approve ordinance 21-0412-1 is there any discussion Hearing none, Councillor Brown? Yes. Councillor Jennings? Yes. Councillor Broughton? Yes. Councillor Watson? Yes. Councillor Barton? Yes. Mayor Loveless? Yes. Ordinance 21-0412-1 is approved. Next item is to approve an ordinance, declare city property as surplus, and approve a building lease with Amanda Quick Shavers. Ordinance number 21-04. 12-2. And if you don't mind, if, uh, ask the clerk to read it. Uh, 
Now therefore be ordained by the mayor and the city council of the city of Bruton as follows. It is hereby established and declared that the following described real property of the city of Bruton, Alabama is no longer needed for public or municipal purposes to wit. And it lists the address, parcel number, and legal description. The city of Bruton, Alabama, having received an offer from Amanda Quick Chavers to lease that real property described in section one above, hereby declares that a public economic development purpose is served by leasing said real property and declared to be in the best interest of the public and the city of Bruton, Alabama to lease said real property to Amanda Quick Chavers under the following terms and conditions to wit. Lease term not to exceed five years with an option to renew, requiring that repairs and improvements be made to property that will ultimately inure the to the benefit of the city of Bruton, Alabama, requiring that insurance be maintained with the city of Bruton as a named insured, requiring that the premises be maintained in a safe and secure manner, Leasee shall pay, pay to leaseor a monthly rental sum of $700 with light payments being made on the first day of each month thereafter throughout the term of the lease. Such other terms and conditions as the mayor deems favorable to the city of Bruton. Pursuant to the authority granted by section 11-47-21 of the Code of Alabama 1975, the mayor of the city of Bruton, Alabama is hereby authorized to execute late said lease agreement in the name of the city of Bruton, Alabama. This ordinance shall become effective immediately upon its adoption and publication as required by law. Adopted and approved this, 20, it should say, 26th day of April, 2021. Now that is ordinance number 21-0412-2. Correct. I'm a motion to approve 21 ordinance 21-0412-2. Second. I have a motion by Councillor Brown, a second by Councillor Barton to approve ordinance 21-0412-2. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councillor Brown? Yes. Councillor Jennings? Yes. Councillor Broughton? Yes. Councillor Watson? Yes. Councillor Barton? Yes. Mayor Loveless? Yes. Ordinance number 210412-2 is approved. Next item is item E, which is approved the MWPP, which is a Municipal Water Pollution Prevention Resolution for the Bruton Lagoon and I'm actually going to call on Ray Madden for item E, F, N, G. Oh, E, N, L. Just E, N, L. I'm sorry. Mayor and Council, I'm coming before y'all this afternoon to uh, get y'all to approve the resolution for the, that's going to be the Old Lagoon. Uh, and what it, what it is, it's actually the upgrades or anything, and we don't have any upgrades as, as we speak right now. Uh, it's basically we have to do this every year for ADEM and uh, and turn us in, turn us back in and send it back in to them for our permit issue. And so I'm asking the council to approve this resolution. All right. So that resolution is 21-0426-1. The mayor of a motion to approve resolution number 21. 0426-1. Second. I have a motion by Councillor Watson, a second by Councillor Broughton to improve resolution number 210426-1. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councillor Brown? Yes. Councillor Jennings? Yes. Councillor Broughton? Yes. Councillor Watson? Yes. Councillor Barton? Yes. Resolution 210426-1 is approved. And Ray, if you would go with item L. And uh, the same thing on uh, the North Bruton Lagoon, uh, we have to do the same paperwork and I'm asking the council to approve this resolution as well. Thank y'all. That's resolution number 21-0426-2. Mayor, I make a motion to approve the resolution. 21-0426-2. Second. I have a motion by Councillor Broughton, a second by Councillor Barton <coughs> to approve resolution 210426-2. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councillor Brown? Yes. Councillor Jennings? Yes. Councillor Broughton? Yes. Councillor Watson? Yes. Councillor Barton? Yes. 
Resolution 21-0426-2 is approved. Thank you, uh, you. Councilman Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Next item is to approve a resolution to adopt the 2021 Alabama Multi-Hazard Mitigation Plan, which is a FEMA requirement, and I call them broccoli. Mayor and Council, the resolution before you now is basically to adopt a hazard mitigation plan for Region A, which is going to consist of uh, Mobile, Baldwin, and Scambia counties. This plan is a requirement under the Stafford Act for us to be able to receive funds for non-emergency uses only. Uh, the current one we have now is about to expire, so that's why we're trying to get this one to go ahead and get it approved. There was no changes made to it. There were some deletions that I went over with Ray and Craig. Um, but again, it's, a, it's just a requirement that we have to do to receive those funds. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Not that it's resolution number 21-0426-3. Motion to approve resolution 21-0426-3. Second. I have a motion by Councillor Barton, a second by Councillor Brown, to approve resolution 210426-3. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councillor Brown? Yes. Councillor Jennings? Yes. Councillor Broughton? Yes. Councillor Watson? Yes. Councillor Barton? Yes. Resolution 210426-3 is approved. Thank you. I'd like to announce the grand opening of the uh, Karen Hart's uh, Bruton Food Pantry. Uh, they will, uh, that will be at the Fisher Center. They will have a food truck there on Thursday the 29th at 10 o'clock. Uh, Karen Hart's does a wonderful job uh, providing free food to the, to the public and I urge everyone if they can uh, make that grand opening. There's some hardworking people there. And that will be Saturday morning from 11 to 2. 11 to 2. 